Hey guys, this is Jameson from gvnewsinfo.com. Today my school closed and I went to the shops. When I went to the shops, it was, I was so shocked. All of the food, foods, drinks and some dry fruits and also some soap. The price has gone up and I was really shocked. And this was around Hounslow in West London. It's like a person in Hounslow who's very selfish. Basically, this woman was in Hounslow High Street. She knew that she had the coronavirus. She was coughing everywhere, coughing on those, coughing on the elevator handles, coughing on those, coughing inside shops, on clothes, in like H&M, next and also Primark. Um, there was an African lady who had two kids and she, um, and then like, and then she put her kids, ne um, she put her kids on the bed to sit down while she was shopping. And that lady who was spreading the virus, she was right, she was a bit beside them. And then I, and as she came back to get her kids, um, she started like coughing at like coughing at this, like handle next to the benches and that. And then the African lady, the African mother, said, "Why are you coughing?" Um, said, "Why are you coughing?" And and this is actually a true story that happened in Hounslow like two days ago. And basically, um, that crazy woman who was like spitting out spitting and coughing she said that she said to the african lady that oh i got the coronavirus and she said this exactly this i do not want to die with i i don't want to die with coronavirus with myself i want to die with other people some people heard behind some people heard her say that and because the public's face, obviously, and then, yeah, and then she was really shocked, like, the African ladies, and she started blaming her, and then the African family went, and this is actually a true story, and then my mum went to Morrison to shop, and she gave um some to shop for my nan, and um for us, because it's because the uh, UK is in lockdown, and so um, the African lady would be behind my mum, and then she told, she told my mum, and then um, she told my mum about the story, and my mum was really shocked, and then I think in the house, some people heard the conversation, and then they, and I think they rang the police, and the thing about this, in the Hounslow borough, before it was 15, and that same day, it jumped to 25. And then, at midnight, it jumped to 29 people. Just with one person. And I want to say, um, be careful. And... To, and um, there's a video of like prices, like food in the supermarket went up, like meat. And in East London, for one lamb leg, it is around fifty pounds. Yes, actually fifty pounds. And uh, and a chicken, a baby baby chicken is twenty pound. A normal baby chicken is like four pound or two pound. Yeah, but now it jumped to twenty pound. But but even when we went to Bengali shops, yeah, this should help the Bengali community. But like, it's just being some of them are being selfish and they like put their price up. Like, this they're like, I was like so pissed off, and I would like I wanted to say like I wanted to blame them. Why are you doing that? And they said, and when I said, oh, why'd you put your price up? And they said, oh, um, and they said. Oh, I can't get the shoes or whatever. That's why I put the price up. But they had, but but they had like stacks of um like lamb and chicken. But they're like basically being cheeky, 
and just wanted money and I was so pissed off and I started throwing at them kind of because I was really angry and like why would you do that you got loads of like meat in that I least sell it for a decent price I least sell it for a decent price and they're saying oh no one uh, one like lamb leg for like 60 pound like what the fuck like why would they do that really like it's kind of sad because we have to help our Bangladeshi community and I think like we should help each other more and the coronavirus is it's such a big thing right now and I wanted to show you a video about there's like a tiny supermarket and they were selling like toilet rolls for like I don't know how much for like 10 pounds yeah or more and and I completely forgot what to say, but um, they were selling those like toilet paper for like ten to twenty pounds. They're actually doing that. And today I got like a hand, not hand cleanser, but a hand foam. Like it's like a tiny hand foam. They were selling for the, f they were selling it for forty pounds, and I was like, why? And they had like, loads inside the shops, and then they were saying for forty pounds. And I was saying like, why are you doing that? Why are you being so stupid? Yeah, and, and then it's, they said the same thing, like, as when I went to Bengali shop. They said, oh, I have, like, I only have, like, a few more in stock. Or oh, they had, like, gallons of it, and I was so, like, angry at them. Then um, I told then I told them, it's actually illegal to put the price up. And I told them that it's illegal to put the price up suddenly, because it's actually against the law. Because um, I learned some of the law. And I told them against the law to do that. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then they were saying, oh, they were apologising, they were apologising, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then I told them to give me a good, like, fixed price. Because, like, because if a normal film, it's, like, that much. Yeah, and then, like, it was normally, like, like uh, two pounds or one pound. And they had, like, gallons of it, like, big packs, like, it would be the size of like, a cupboard. Had loads in stock. And they were selling it for like fifty pounds. Like why? They were selling it for like forty or fifty pounds, and I was like, oh, why would they do that? And then um, I forgot the exact price they wanted to sell it for me, but I told them, oh, it's illegal. And then they quickly put the price down and said, oh, fifteen pounds. Sorry, sorry. And then I bought, and, and then me, stupidly, I bought for 15 or 16 pounds. And I was like, why, would I, why, why did I do that? And you know, the hand sanitizer sold it for 75 pounds. On Amazon, if you guys can see it, they're selling for like like $160 or what, and like 200 pounds. It's like, how selfish are those people to get money? And I, we have to help each other, you know? Or we can like ration it, like... And some supermarkets, everybody will have bought, like, gallons of stuff. And, like, like, how many kg of food, of fruits, or food. Like, at least, at least, do you know what we should do? At least we should, like, ration it, you know? We should share it equally, and that would be fair. Because some found they really needed. Check on BBC. There's a woman who works for the NHS. And she she was helping people for the coronavirus, and she was like helping loads of people, and she didn't have time to go to the supermarket. What is this? And then when she went to the supermarket, she found nothing to feed herself to help other people. Allah, please help the people at the worldwide. Oh Allah, please help other people to find food for for other months. To survive, Ya Allah, please, please, um, Ya Allah, please find, Ya Allah, please find some vaccines for coronavirus to help, to help people. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, please keep everybody safe, and, and if they die for the coronavirus, please lead them to Jannah. To um, try not to fret the wolves, Ya Allah, please do not. Ya Allah, please do not. Ya Allah, please do not make anybody suffer. 
and there's loads of people who need food these days. We are a lot if need food these days, and um, please um, and please um, don't make anyone be selfish, and and let them have a good mindset. So now we know that you should not to be selfish and um, I nearly cried by hearing the news and I got really upset like people are being really selfish and it's a very bad, bad thing by being selfish, you know. And yeah, so this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it and if you like um, and for the past few days, um, I'm trying to upload some videos for you guys to enjoy and learn and learn more about the coronavirus and and yeah and I hope you guys enjoy this video and may Allah keep you safe. I mean, see you later, guys.